Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut 11. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for joining me here. We are looking at the three months ahead. So January, February and March of 2024. Okay, it's our patrons that get the whole reading. Um, here on YouTube you are receiving the first half hour and then you've got the option either to join us through Patreon or if you're not wanting to join us through Patreon, you can purchase the extended or the second part of the reading, let's say, um, through our website. So you can get all the links beneath this video. I want to thank you so much all for your support. I'm wishing you all a wonderful beginning of 2024 we're going to look into the first three months this is a general and love reading where we'll see what comes through from spirit and don't forget to check out your sun moon rising your venus your mars and your north node placements in your horoscope your natal chart okay so that could give you a little bit more information so let's go on to the videos hello hello dear Pisces welcome welcome to your January February March of 2024 general and love reading thank you for joining me here I hope you've heard the introduction where I talk about the these readings being extended and how to get to them so if you have not please go back and have a have a listen it's only a minute and a half oh my god there's so much repetition <laughs> having to say the same thing over and over again. We're looking at January, February, March, dear Pisces. We're taking the good tarot to see the general. We're using the psychic tarot of the heart to look at your love portion. We're also taking, we're also taking the double-sided um, vice versa uh, tarot for more information. We're taking the Lenormand and we're using the Mystic Moon Oracles um, for this reading and at the end we're taking a spirit animal oracle for advice okay and then we'll be extending this reading through patreon so consider joining us on tier three uh, sorry tier one you get the 12 extended on the website you get one for the price of patreon um for being on patreon right it costs you the same to purchase one off our website or either connect with us on Patreon. Give it a try and then don't, if you don't like it, you can leave. You get to see the 12 extended. So dear spirit, Pisces, what's going on? What's going on for Pisces? Pisces, I know it's not easy for you. You've got Saturn in your sign. That's not an easy thing. So what, let's see what's going on with you. January, February, March. Remember, Jupiter is your ruling planet. He's going to turn direct early in the year. So should be all systems go. Let's see. January for Pisces. We've got judgment. Wow. Second chances in February. Four of water. Four of cups. And then in March, you have two of wands. Okay, big, big start to the year, obviously. Let's put these cards up so you can see them a little bit better. And let's look at your love life. So Scorpio, Scorpio energies are here with the um, judgment card. Lots of water and fire. So lots of water means an emotional couple of... Uh, for the first two months um, you're needing to make choices you're going through some sort of a crisis but this is second chances it's like you're resurrecting your life there are opportunities here it's like the door opens for you there's a lot of clarity and a lot of guidance here from spirit and here also in March we see the giraffe with the lantern so where there was a lack of clarity, you're seeing things clearly. You've got that bird's eye view. You could see how high this girl is sitting. 
So let's see what's going on for Pisces. January, please, in, in their love life. Shine. Light, a Leo comes through. And this is the sun, the sun, which means healing, happiness, second chances. In the month of February, you've got the sun and the moon, which to me says it's either something you're closing up or something you're beginning. Because this is either sun opposing the moon or sun conjoining with the moon. So this is the yin and the yang, which do birth something. It's either completing something. I feel it's more about something new because you're resurrecting your life here. And we've got small numbers, right? So a two and a four and another two. So interesting. Two, four, two. That equals an eight, which again is the strength card. Leo comes through again. So there's something that you're confronting. We are in eclipse energies in the month of March. They may be active even from the beginning of the year, yes. All planets direct. Um, the second part of January. You're wanting to have fun. You're wanting to resurrect your life. There's something to do with the sun something that's going to be is you're creating something you've, you've got second chances you're being shown you're out there but also let's see march let's see march we've got move and cancer so again the moon so the moon is going to be very very important for you new moons full moons and the eclipses obviously unless you're dealing with um, could be Cancer, could be Pisces, could be Scorpio energies. Now, of course, Leo comes through a lot as well, but you've got the moon twice here. So this is possibly a change of homes, new home. Um, you're in transition. You're making changes around your home. Four of water. Emotionally, maybe you're not happy in the home you're in. Doesn't mean... because you're, you're overcoming obstacles. Things will be revealed here. The sun speaks to healing as well and sort of showing you things, things that are going to be lit up for you. So generally speaking, you're going through, your life's going through a resurrection in the month of January. Is it matters to do with heart or creativity, changes to do with your, your children as well? There will be some... Um, some things coming up that were hidden, things to do with fears, pay attention to your intuition, very strong, it's very strong, it's it's shouting to you, right? You're dreaming. There could also be an illusion as well, not seeing something clearly. But remember, all planets are going to be direct and February is going to be an important month. A lot of things will be shown, a lot of truths will come through because of so many planets that will be in Aquarius. And there's, there's an opening here, choices that are made and you're moving towards victory. Yes, it could speak to physical travel, uh, moving homes. At the top of the uh, deck is the five of cups. So you are mourning those three cups that have fallen. Two cups is, are still standing. It's like you're going over a bridge. Um, what's this bridge about? Uh, What's this bridge about? Letting bygones be bygones, Pisces, or letting go of any sadness or what you've been mourning and you're crossing over that bridge, you're overcoming um, something that went array possibly from last year. Now, I'm taking from the middle of the deck. Thank you, Spirit, for Pisces in January so that we because they're double-sided. We've got the Queen of Wands, so you are dealing with a Leo more than likely. We've got the Four of Cups here and the Ace of Cups, which is five cups again. Interesting. What's going on in February? We've got the High Priestess, Temperance, and the Hanging Man. 
and in March. The Four of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and, oh my goodness, the Five of Swords. You end with the Five of Swords. Why do you have the Five of Swords? What else? There's an Ace of Pentacles. Some challenges I see there towards the end of March. But things will open up with that Ace of Pentacles. I don't know what this challenge is. Um, difficult finances, some fights, disagreements on a house move, which house. Um, you're juggling your money. I don't know. Let's let's see what's going on for Pisces in January. We've got the bear. the tower and the snake not an easy not an easy month you're gonna have to be courageous you're gonna have to be strong what about in february we've got the fish the fox and the scythe there's some sort of an ending a cutting away that you're going through here march pisces we've got the bouquet the female the divine feminine and we've got the letter wow okay let's look at you and your your subconscious your unconscious your emotions for each month for Pisces please spirit January oh my god you're going through a tower moment what is this awakening what is this aware awareness about solitude it's like you're smashing the so your solitude no more solitude you're coming to an awareness what about in the month of February shadow work lessons and in March commitment and tribe this ends well thank God for that dear Pisces what's at the bottom here devotion <clears throat> devotion and an offer but there's grief someone's needing asking for forgiveness Someone's done the dirty here. Oh my God. Oh my God, Pisces. Divine masculine waking up to a twin flame connection. Not wanting to believe. Someone who drinks. Someone who cannot face the reality. That someone makes them happy. I mean, we've got Leo here as well. Summer. Maybe this was going on during the summer last year having met a twin flame but a lot of pain summer can speak to someone being very flirtatious going out and drinking but they're asking a divine masculine is asking for forgiveness and there's grief from the divine feminine but there's devotion there's an offer on the table Needing to surrender. Lots of Pisces energy. Lots of Pisces. Letting go of a twin flame. Good question. Good question. And that can be very painful, obviously. All right, dear Pisces. As I said, you're resurrecting your life, but this is crisis. This is decisions as well. Decisions and you're following your heart, right? It's, and I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo. Again, it could have been someone that was flirtatious. We've got the snake here, which could be third parties. And I don't know. I mean, look, we've got the, um, we've got the four of cups here. Someone not being happy. There's a revelation going on here. Um, and, you know, I get I get intimacy with the snake, 
with the Queen of Wands, who's very sexual, with the nakedness of this woman here. I'm getting a, a moment of crisis. We see the solitude here, and then all of a sudden, things fall into place. And this leads on to, because, you know, the, the heart can also be, Leo says, I go out, I have fun, I take risks, I take a gamble, I look elsewhere, I, I do the dirty on my partner, right? <coughs> whatever the case is, whatever you're working on as well, there are second chances, but you're going through crisis in January. There's something that is opening up here and you're becoming aware. Self-love, Ace of Cups. You're learning to love yourself. You're learning to let go of those that could not love you. You're learning to do things that make you happy. And I'm going to say that you're not sacrificing anymore. You're starting to love you and do you. You're becoming all the more stronger and more courageous. Remember, Saturn is transiting through your sign, which says you're taking on the color of Saturn yourself. You're pointing people the ethical, the right thing to do. So I get that if there's been infidelity, which the snakes can speak to, you're not going to, you're not going to sit by and let it happen. Okay. That's why I feel that there's confrontation. You're confronting yourself. You're seeing the truth. You're seeing the situation. Four of water is a lot of deception, illusion. Four of cups is here and four of cups is here. Emotionally, you were not happy. You were not happy. Now, through challenges many times, because where work is concerned, I do see you working alone creating something that you love. There is possibility here for a quick turnaround. When you think something's not working, I do feel that it may come through quickly because you've got the, the fish here, which is the fish speaks to abundance. It's a very creative energy. It's very flowing. It's very, um, it's going to bring a lot of prosperity. Even though we don't really have pentacles here, the fish does speak to, it does speak to abundance, right? But it can also speak to a cycle. Again, revisiting a similar cycle. I do get that there is some delays. There are some delays and some blockages in January. I feel that after the 20th, once Uranus turns direct, this is when you're going to go through some sort of an enlightenment, right? You're going to be alone when this happens. And this could be that you're awakening to that there's more to life than sitting and waiting um, for someone, sitting and waiting for someone that's out there enjoying their lives, right? I feel I see you doing a lot of meditating in the month of January, but also creating on your own. You may be working from home where you're creating something that's going to be quite successful, that will be successful. There's great intelligence here and you will have the tools, right? The scythe is I take the scythe and I take the wheat. So you've got the ability, right? You've got the ability to... To reap the rewards but spirit is saying take your time do not rush it's all happening in divine timing now this may be something spiritual you've got archangel michael and temperance here which is saying yes be patient um don't rush okay go with the flow and the high priestess here trust your intuition you may be working on something or learning maybe even learning someone could be guiding you see even with a hanging man you're on your path to something that could be very, um, very spiritual, very enlightening, very abundant for you. Because I do feel, and I know that through challenges, people go through their awakening. 
this is like an a shocking aha moment this is not an easy turn we've also got the shadow work here which the shadow work um is uh, you can't push it's got to be worked on there are lessons you're needing to go through some you're going through some sort of a release are you releasing fears are you releasing someone who was sneaky someone who was underhanded someone who was just taking from you and not giving back to you someone that was um very secretive very deceptive and I don't know if also you're still going through your awakening. I mean, when I, um, my awakening, when I was on my way to my awakening, I was like seeing, I was having lucid dreams with the moon. This huge full moon was in front of me and I, you know, I was manipulating my dream. This speaks to psychic ability. So trust your intuition. You are very psychic, even with the four of water here, right? It's as though you can communicate with the fish, you can communicate with the animals, you can... What can I say? I mean, the power is huge here. And I also get another thing. Where you've invested so much, you've released, you've given, you've sacrificed so much. I get that it's as though you're going to the bottom of the sea, the bottom. You're releasing everything that did not work for you. Anything that you cannot carry with you moving forward it's as though you're still working or you're coming to an ending pertaining to this shadow work now the shadow work could be someone that was going through their shadow phase and they were leaning on you and you had to do everything you've gone through a difficult lesson you're going through it temperance is saying you're growing all the more wiser right And you're also given the eyes to see through through the veil, through the illusion in March. Your third eye, right? Let, I, in February. Let's go to March. Did I say March? Maybe that is the case. So, as I said, you get a bird's eye view. You're sitting very tall. You've seen the light. It's like you're the hermit. You've, you've grown wiser. The two of fire is an opening. It's the two of wands. It's a portal that opens up for you, which will bring goodness, surely, right? The two of fire is like you're ready to spread your wings and fly. There's a new door that's opening. You may be moving house. Um, you may be going through changes pertaining to a home, a relationship that did not feel at home. You didn't feel at home with a certain relationship, right? You're in transition and I don't know if you're traveling to meet someone. Um, lots of decisions and things being up in the air. You're still going through healing with the Four of Swords, right? Waiting on maybe some decisions that are coming from others. There is a bit of a waiting game, which may be a little bit um, worrisome. It's as though you're, you're waiting for the rewards and you're not seeing them. Um, you're waiting till the last day of March, let's say. Um, before you could see your rewards, which is the Ace of Pentacles. You've got a commitment and you've got a tr the tribe here, which speaks to family. Now, I don't know if this is um, family members that are sort of holding you back. They, if, you're, if you've been in another relationship long-term or marriage, they don't want you to separate. It's not in their hands. Or it's someone that you're needing to leave behind. Someone that, um, is always needy that may not be letting you um, free yourself that could also be the case here but what we do see here is that there is an offer on the table there's news coming in um, we've got a divine feminine so I don't know if this is you or another person but we know that the divine feminine is nurturing loving um, connections right Now, where we do see abundance here, but there may also be a holdup on 
a financial return. I don't know if some of you are possibly also going through some learning. Learning, you're the teacher or you're the student. The lessons, I don't know if this is life um, life lessons or um, there's something that you're learning here. Something that you could be staying up late learning. Yes, it could be astrology. Yes, it could be tarot reading or anything like that. Um, spiritual studies also. Psychology could be another thing that you're studying. I don't know. But I think that the shadow work and the, the lesson here is for you, dear Pisces, that you only sacrifice as much as uh, you can. You always need to keep for yourself. Don't give everything away and expect it to be returned. Sacrifice what you can, but make sure that you always discern. Do the Virgo thing. Virgo is opposite Pisces. Um, and try and be smart. Don't, you know, wear those blinders and believe in the goodness that comes from everyone. People have changed, right? So be discerning. Um, make sure that you find people that you connect with that are the same or if not exactly the same as you, similar, right? I do see that things are up in the air. Maybe you're juggling your, your finances or maybe there's a decision on whether to, to use your intelligence to speak your truth because the Five of Swords is air. It's air, it's perception, it's words, it's legalities. There's something going on here where it's a hard it's a hard game to play. It's a hard situation. There's competition. This is internal conflict, external, from coming from an air sign. Are you leaving an air sign behind? I don't know. We see the contract here or the letter. This could be a contract. This could be information. This could be um, uh, something legal. But something communicated, something even promised, I'm going to say. We've got a commitment, the Ace of Pentacles. This could be the contract. doesn't have to be a love commitment. It doesn't have to be a marriage commitment. It's got something to do with your tribe or um, your family. Committing to something. Committing to, I don't know, a loan. Um, with support from your tribe. The elephant. I don't know. But the Ace of Pentacles is something long-term, something that um, is very promising. And it's an opportunity. Remember to take the opportunity. I also see flirtation offers here. Maybe this is what you're, you're you don't know if you're ready to date. You don't know if you're ready to get out there. If you've been through a hard uh, lesson, hard times. Let's take a message from the spirit animals. For Pisces, please, spirit. Pisces, January, February, March 2024, we've got bison, bison, abundance, abundance, sacred buffalo, cloak me in your wisdom. Keep me warm through the storms of life. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. A sacred buffalo. There's a lot of strength here. Cloak me in your wisdom. So there is a lot of wisdom here. Just like the, the uh, high priestess. Fill my life with goodness. Teach me the way of gratitude and prayer. Remember how I said about teaching. This could be a tribe, a group of people that you're connecting with, okay, which is going to help you understand your power, your abilities, your intuition, that you are an abund abundant and very strong person. And some of you are learning, of course, how to meditate. This is beautiful. So this is very family orientated. I get the tribe or you're connecting with someone also that has got the same likes and dislikes as you. The abundance is there in, and it comes in many, many forms, dear Pisces. Just know that, okay? All right, I think I will leave it there. 
We'll be uh, extending this reading. As we said, we'll be looking closer to the messages with the La Vera Sibilla and then taking the Little Love Oracle to look at your love life. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. Remember the links are beneath this video. Dear Pisces, I am wishing you well. Um, for those of you that are coming on to the extended, I will see you there. Love and light. Talk to you soon.